on March 22, 2017, I moved out of my old apartment in Shibuya. This is that crazy story. This is the last night I will be in this apartment. Everything's all packed up, zipped up, ready to go. Packed up in the hallway. This bed has been my bed for the last four years. No, like literally, I moved into this apartment, or I moved to Japan four years ago today, so it's kind of surreal that I'm moving four years later. And four years was just a really short period of time. So all this stuff is getting loaded onto here. We're at a uh, parking area in the middle of the highway that just goes that way. Moving shit down to my office in Yokohama and then the rest is going into storage. They have a fucking vending machine. You can get a hamburger, a hot dog, yakisoba from the fucking... Wow. <laughs> we made a quick trip down to my office in Yokohama to store some stuff there. Since I partially work from home, this technically classifies as a work computer, so now it's in here. That's some other gear that I have for my uh, filmmaking endeavors. So far everything went smoothly until we had trouble with the first truck. Despite being a two-ton truck, it wouldn't hold two tons and therefore I couldn't put all my stuff back there. And also, we ran out of time, so we had to do something different. Today was an absolute nightmare. And uh, now we have this second truck. Can I put this in the back now? Yep. Alright. We have the second tread that we're going to have to use tomorrow. What happened was, the truck was just loaded with problems. We were supposed to take something to one place and have it picked up by a storage company to store. They didn't come. And then, the truck that we had that was loaded with problems, we basically ran out of time, so we had to take it back to the rental place. But first, we had to do this. So I have all my stuff out of the truck and in my goddamn apartment again Ugh, until tomorrow when we can get the delivery people to actually come by here and pick up the stuff and take it. Ugh, this is a goddamn nightmare. Ugh. This the hotel I'm staying at is lovely. Like, this is so cute. <laughs> Next morning we got notice that the delivery people from the storage place weren't coming. So James and I had to do the whole move ourselves again. So I gotta go back up to my room and grab everything out of there by 5 p.m. today or else I'm in serious trouble because they can only inspect it on the day that I am gone on a trip. So. I can't cancel the trip because that would cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Penalty fees. So today, all of all right. my livelihoods being loaded into this Where motherfucker. Can I this for a second? Yeah, I got it. What are you gonna do? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. That's my mattress right there, and I have you a box. <laughs> well, actually, I'm sending this to my dad. Oh. Yeah. So the boxes are all here. They're wrapping that up. There's James. This is all here. They're gonna they're gonna put everything on here, wrap it up, and put it in the storage. Crazy move in four years ago. Four years later, crazy move out. One final view out my old apartment's veranda. Ceiling fan. There. Most of the apartment. Look at my fucking wall. Look at that wall. Jesus Christ. Well, aside from just a couple of cleaning supplies, my apartment is completely empty. Thanks for a good four years. Kind of good for you. Was it worth it? Probably not. <laughs> Let's go.
nearly 38 hours later, everything is right here. Surprisingly enough, this truck has a good enough base system. <laughs> We're driving a farm truck doing this shit. We have a pizza in the back of a farm truck that we used to deliver my stuff today. Today's been a very, the last 24, 48 hours have been nuts. That thing is just eating the concrete. Jesus Christ. After this hectic and chaotic move, I spent three weeks in a hotel and then finally moved to my new place in early April. I'm gonna miss Shibuya, but it's definitely time for me to move on to the next phase of my life.